Hello everyone, Blackload8001 here. I'm going to make another video about the Canon P23-DH2. And today I am going to show you how to feed the paper, set the tax rate, and make a receipt as uh, something that you would say if you went to the grocery store and bought a whole slew of things. A receipt that sort of looked like that. Anyways. So what we're going to do, first of all, is do the paper. So what you got to do is put it on the back here. And here's the most important instruction of all. You need to take your scissors and cut this on a very sharp angle so that the paper is pointed at the left side if you are sitting directly in front of the Canon print calc. Um, so then what you need to proceed to do, there are multiple ways to do this, but my favorite way is to shove it in the back, um, which sounds really weird, but I'm not even going to go there. Um, so what you need to do is there's this little slit on the back here, and you basically need to, basically, no, not basically, you do need to take it and place it in there. And just need to get it in there far enough. And it is very possible sometimes that it does get jammed and you have to start over again. For whatever reason, this one likes doing that right now. But there we go. Okay, so once you get a little bit through and you can start to see uh, some of the paper in there. You can see it down right here, that little white triangle. Um, what you need to do then is you need to turn the calculator on to the print cycle. And then you need to hit this up button right here. Which then proceeds to bring the paper up. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, next thing is to set the tax rate. Oops. Okay, I didn't mean to hit that, but if you go to rate set, here it is set to 13% because, though you can't see it because the light is glaring. Um, there. So here uh, uh, in Ontario, the HST or tax is 13%. So I have it set to 13%, but what, what you would do, um, Wherever you are, whatever the tax rate is, uh, I'm just going to type in 13 again. You type in 13, you press equal, and then you uh, go back to whatever setting you want. So in this case, it'll be um, print. You're going to reset that. <clears throat> so let's say we went and we went to Walmart or some department store of that nature. And um, yeah. We bought, we spent uh, $5, and we spent $1.50. Um, if you're wondering where I'm pulling these numbers off, I have a pre-written receipt here. Um, and we spent $0.99. Cents. We spent two fifty nine. And we spent $12, and then we want to know what that all is, so we hit equals, or not, no, no, so we hit plus, sorry, and then what we have to do to find out the tax, and this is the part where I'll take out the camera, or the tripod, uh, what you need to do is press tax plus, Alright, so I'll explain what this all is. Uh, this number right here, the 2208, is your total, or your subtotal, sorry. This is your um, HST percent, or tax percent. This right here is the amount of tax you paid. And this right here is your complete total. And that's pretty cool, it's like an actual... Um, actual like a retail store um, how they how something like this would work anyways so 
that's uh, almost it for this video. I'm going to turn this over. There's some information on the bottom that's really important that you might need to know about your um, Canon uh, P23 D or uh, P23-DH2 print calc um, and you can find that information on the bottom talking about the AC adapter um, if you want to use this on batteries it takes uh, four, four AA's and the Canon ink roller which is a CP-13 so if you ever need to replace any of those things you know what you're looking for or if you want to get an adapter for it Although I, I suggest not spending the money on the dedicated power supply because um, I'm using some random power supply right now and it's working fine. Now I do warn against using power supplies above 6 volts because this thing is only rated for 6 volts and if you put more than 6 volts into it, it will take advantage of those 6 volts and the thing will run extremely fast and possibly damage itself. And you don't want that to happen, obviously, so that would just be a shame. So what you obviously don't do is don't overvolt it and you will be safe. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, hope this was helpful for you. See you in the next one.